Hey everybody, it's Chan Chan and welcome to another Minecraft roleplay tutorial video. In this video, I want to talk about a mod called Chisels and Bits. It's very similar to other mods like Little Tiles, Armor's Workshop, uh, Da Vinci Mod, Little Blocks. And what it does is basically it makes it so you can basically create almost anything like furniture, chairs, or buildings, um, blocks, basically almost anything really. So yeah, we have a lot to cover and I hope you enjoy this video. Please leave a like in the video and a comment if you enjoyed this video and let's get started so the thing, first thing i want to talk about is the things that i created with this mod and i created this little flower this chair a little baby snake with like little tooth things um this like really badly made emoticon this horribly made cake and this little um well type thing which we'll talk about later so yeah the first thing that i want to talk about is the two tabs that come with chisel chisels and bits so the first thing you get is this tab here. It's basically it comes with a bunch of tools and all these blocks are just the blocks that that come with Minecraft. So if you hold shift, you can actually see what they look like and you can actually scroll down while holding shift. So I'm going to let go of shift and go all the way down and you'll see these last two things and which are the also tools. And you're going to have the second um, tab, which is your chisels and bits clipboard. Everything you break and chisels and bits will go into this folder. So remember this. So first, I'm going to start off by getting the first couple tools so I can talk about this really quick. So first thing I want to mention is that there's two ways of playing this. You could do this in survival and you could do this in creative. I do this in creative, but let me just first talk about survival mode. So if you go to survival mode, let me just change this to survival. So every time you want to break a block, you can use any of these chisels to break uh, any part in the world. So I could use the diamond chisel and it'll ba ba basically it's just like break the ground if you want so you can actually break over here and like cut some bits if you can also hold all but i'll talk about that stuff later so every time you break something it'll go into this bit bag if you right click as you can see it's going to go into this bit bag so what i'm going to do i'm just going to jump into creative mode since um i'm not going to really use this feature but i just want to know like if you're in survival mode this would work in survival mode <laughs> so let me just jump back to creative mode there we go i'm actually going to toss this over here because i really don't need the bit bag and since we're in creative mode, I'm actually going to toss the rest of these chisels except the last two. Or actually the last diamond chisel, but since um, I have another thing I have to bring back, I'm going to actually just toss this for right now. So let me just talk about the tape. So to use this tape, you have to right click on the ground and just pull back. And you're going to get this little thing that says 3M5B. If you hold Alt, you can also check on the controls if you can change this to like whatever button you want to press. It'll bring this um, menu. So that was, I believe that was distance. So if you click on bit, or actually that was bit. So this is bit and bit. So if you click on distance, you get a line. And if you click on block, you get a block. So this is good for measuring like um, how big your buildings want you want it to be or like uh, measuring whatever you want. So 4M equals four blocks, one, two, three, four. I don't use the other uh, methods. I usually just use a block. You can also, you can also, um, you can also change the color. So you can make it green if you want to. And if you want to delete everything, just hold shift and right click. And that is tape. Next is saw, the diamond bit saw. Um, I don't know what this does, to be honest. So if anyone can tell me in the comments, um, um, for some reason, I just can't make it work in Minecraft for some reason. So I'm going to just toss this to the side. And the last thing is wooden wrench. What this does is it just rotates the blocks that you create in your world with chisels and bits. So I created this chair, so I'm going to rotate it with this. And that's basically what it does. Just rotates your block. And I'm going to try to make it go back to normal. And I can't get it to work. Okay, good enough. So let's just toss this here. And that's basically everything. Um, so if you want to drag any of these down, you can just hold and right click and it'll just drag down. And you can actually just place it here and just like you can right click, but also you can hold alt and change it to other um, other ways to place down your block, I guess. So if you right click, you make it to a large cube, a medium cube, small cube, a grid snap. This and it also has other sizes for the grid snap. Single bit, line, which makes it so you can make it like this, or you can make it like a horizontal. And it has plane. I'm gonna talk about oh and draw region. If you want to just hold right click and just draw down, it'll draw this region. You can also go on top of it and and do it like whatever way you want it to. It's really versatile, so. That's that. I'm going to talk about same material, connected material, and connected plane in the next um, part of the hotbar. So that's basically what um, all these items do and what these little blocks that come with chisels and bits do. 
So I'm going to jump into the next section. Okay, so now we're going to talk about um, how to use the chisel and how to use the design and the fluid tank. So when you get the chisel in creative mode, what you could do with this is basically go in any world as before and, uh, you know, not right click, but left click. And you can create like little holes, but you can also hold um, alt and then make it so you can cut into bigger holes. Small cube. It's very similar to um, pasting it with the smaller cubes that came with chisels and bits. You can grid snap, um, line, and do any any part of the rail, ra radial in the menu. You can also undo. Um, I don't click. I usually just slide and hover and just let go and then just it, it does it automatically. So now I'm going to talk about is connected material, connected plane, and the same material. But let me actually get, or let me just go to this well and just demonstrate what this does. Let me just get a water block and place it here. Okay, since you can also go to chisel and hold alt, you can also hold it with any block. So let me go to plane. Okay, let's say I were to press the plane over here. As you can see, it goes through like these little, the walls that I made, right? So let me just remove that. If I were to do the connected plane, it would also, it would actually just connect. It would connect to this part of the side, but it won't connect to the inside. But apparently it did for some reason. I think I know why I did that. I think there's like a hole at the bottom. So I'm going to have to redo that twice and it's gone. Okay. So if you want to do it on the inside, it actually does it in the inside. So as you can see, it didn't go on the outside. So let me just test that again. See if that worked on the outside. It shouldn't. Okay, see, there you go. So that's what connected plane does. It makes it so where, like, you don't have to, like, make it go through the walls. If you wanted to make it go through the walls, just use the plane normally, which is this one. So connected plane makes it so where it just doesn't pierce the walls and stuff like that. If you want to use the connected material and same material, I'm actually going to do it on this side over here. So I'm actually going to use the snake as an example for this. So let's say I want to grab... <laughs> oops. Let's say I want to grab the plane. So if I put a plane on top of his head uh, with a water block, that's what happens, right? It does this, it just creates the whole thing as a block, right? So let's say I want to get the connected plane. Let's say I want to put it on top of his nose. I do it once, twice, and then do it one more time. So what happens is it, it wants you level in with whatever it's connecting. So you create like a flat plane. Like I go one, two, and it stops right here. It continue it continues off with whatever is connected. So let's go back a couple times. Um okay. I just want more. Okay. So let's say I want to use this connected material. So if I right click and then right click and then right click, it doesn't continue off because it's cause I'm like sort of um focusing it on a certain section of of the block. So let me go back a couple more times. So that's what the connected material does. And if I go to the same material, what this is going to do is going to select every material that's the same in the block or within the block. So if I, if I click one of these greens, it's going to select the top layer and it's going to select the green wool. So if I right click, it does that. So let me go back. If I select the side of it, it'll go with the side. If I select the eyes, it will actually just go to the eyes. If I go, let's say I go to the chair, it'll select the chair, but it'll also select the inside since I have like these little holes. If I go to the flower and I go to the top on the yellow side, it does only the yellows. But if I do it on the orange, it does it all on the orange. So that's what the same material does. It basically selects what whatever is within the block, whatever material you're selecting and what side it's on. The connected material is only on a specific side and, and it only continues until you t until it touches a uh, material that is the same since it, it continues off, but it's not touching the orange, right? But if I could use connected plane, it continues off because it's it's not connected material connected material. It's connected plane. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, next I want to talk about is the chisel designs. Okay, so you, you could just right click anything you want. Say, let's say I want to right click this chair even though it's flipped over and you can actually place it and it's basically like a copy and paste. So you can also hold alt and do different methods. So you can replace a block. You can add it with whatever is in the way. So if I place place it right here, it actually connects to whatever is in the way or whatever is placed there. Let me just undo and undo. If you will go to placement, all it does is just places it on the top layer 
and impose i'm not entirely sure what it does but it is all similar to what additive does and that's basically what the positive chisel design paper thing is for negative chisel is basically what it does it replaces um the block with the material that you're trying to um replace so if i right click it and let's say i want to grab let me actually replace this so let me grab this block and place it here let me just destroy this if i right click it with the negative design what it does it replaces it but it it replaces it with whatever is in um uh, the material that's there and that's negative so this is the positive is a copy paste while the negative is a copy paste but it replaces it with a material in its way last is the mirror design what this does it just rotates it but instead of rotating it actually does a mirror or like axis turn let me see if uh let me actually just show you so if you right click it it won't work but the first thing you have to do is go to the crafting table and place this down and then get a positive chisel design and once you do this you grab it and it turns into a positive chisel design and now you actually you can actually place it down see so this is what i copied and let me just place it as a placement and let me just break this and what it actually does it just flips it um on the opposite direction so that's why it's called a mirror design i guess if you want to like make a hallway and let's say you want to flip it but instead of like rotating it over and over again you could just do do it with a chisel design oh also forgot to mention is if you hold shift at the bottom of your hotbar it actually it actually changes the design that you just created so it's actually really helpful if you forgot what the paper is or what it's called or whatever since they're all just called chisel design next what i'm talking about is the fluid bit tank so what you can do with this is just place down two of these and you can use any fluid in minecraft even in mods i tried it with some other mods that had fluid so this basic this is basically just for fluids so just right click and then right click and then now you have a fluid block you can also hold alt and you have a large cube you can place down magma blocks you can also place down water blocks if you want to and actually this is really cool for having creative design and like creating really ridiculous stuff and that's basically everything in chisels and bits and i forgot to mention one more thing that if you guys want to do something with like furniture let's say you don't want to use more player models to sit down in the chair let's say you want to make it so where it actually sits down because chisel and bits doesn't have this feature you can actually create like a chair and then you can right click and sit down so to achieve a chair where you can sit down you have to get a mod called little tiles it actually has an integration with chisels and bits so let me actually go to this thing here and let me just rotate this back into place if i could do this okay there we go okay so what you need to get is in little tiles is get something called the little tiles recipe and get a wrench it's usually located at the very bottom of the tool section so you're gonna have to get the little recipe and the little wrench okay so what we have to do is right click it with the little recipe and then um twice so you can get the first and second position and then it creates it at the very bottom into a multi-structure so next right click in the air and then change this into chair save go to the wrench right click in the air drop down the little recipe press craft and there you go now you have your multi-structure block so now you can place this anywhere uh, let's place it right over here and right here and now you can actually sit down on your I mean, it's still possible to do it with little tiles. So yeah, that's basically the mod. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. And please like the video. And hopefully you guys will download this mod. It's really, really cool. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Potato, 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 potato,